Welcome back to Equine Photo School. I'm your host, Ole Moss. Now, we are still doing this booth stuff. So we got quite a few videos here on this booth setup. We're gonna talk right now about setting up your print station. So we've got a 27 inch iMac. So whatever it is, your computer of choice, no problem. You can let it on a laptop. We did that for a lot of years. The iMac is bigger, it's better. Things move faster because you can rearrange things on the screen. We've already talked about printing in Lightroom. We've already talked about kind of the workflow on the screen, so we're not gonna go into that. Go ahead and watch those other videos. I like to have a 10 key. We used to have 10 key keyboards. Now I'm using those on my other computers. We use everything on these external hard drives. I've already done some storage tips, some organization tips on that. So go ahead and watch those other videos on how to store, organize, back up your drives, all of that good stuff. That's super important. So usually we'd have two plugged into here so it's being backed up as the event goes. Just in case, if and when one of these crashes, you've got a backup so you don't lose anything, you're not out any money, people didn't lose those memories, that sort of thing. Uh, we got a card reader right here. So what happens, go and watch those other videos, but we're gonna look at like a little diagram and I'll put it up on the screen here. So super simple, we got that going on. We don't have a sponsor for this video, but we do have a course and that course is Lighting 101 to 301. We actually have several courses, but that's the most popular one. It has 114 video lectures and over 90 opportunities for you to reach out, ask for feedback, ask for help, ask questions. This course starts out with the fundamentals, so you can build a strong foundation for you to build upon, even if you know nothing about lighting, you know nothing about strobes and flashes and how all this stuff works. That's why you're taking this course. That's why I built this course for you. So we start at the ground level, we build a foundation using the fundamentals of light and how it works. Then I've got a gear guide for you. Before we start using this gear, we gotta learn about the gear. So we talk about the different gear, the different types of flashes there are. We compare those flashes. I've got a bunch of different gear. I talk it over with you over all of the different pieces of gear that I use. Then we start using that gear. We start lighting portraits. We do people portraits, we do horse portraits, we do black background photography, we're gonna get into that. There's cool stuff. So we can start with one light, two light, and three light portraits and just build from there. Then in 301, that's what most people are, are really excited about and that's what I'm most known for myself is arena lighting. In 301, we dive into arena lighting. I have real world examples of arena lighting that I've done all over the country. I've got a lot of examples for you. I show you some lighting diagrams overhead. We talk about it, we show videos. We've got all kinds of stuff to help you dial in that arena lighting. So whether you're shooting rodeos or you're shooting specific events, we've got several different lectures on all of those different topics. We cover that in 301. Look for this course and all the other courses that we have at equinephotoschool.com forward slash courses. We start the end of the table with this uh, because this is where it comes in, right? We would have some orders here probably, you know, as the event goes, this place can get pretty messy. I'll show you on the screen here a few, you know, close-up shots of what this looks like as an event kind of gets going. You're going to be able to fulfill orders from this location. The photos, I always put them on this computer first because it's our main computer, our most important, and then it goes to the crew that's showing pictures. The person that's here is the most trained in, so they need to get a hold of those pictures first to make sure that they're backed up twice before they go to anybody else, okay? Then, once they hit print here, they can go pick out their size of paper, make sure that printer has ink, there's ink close by, and then that print comes through here. We've already talked about this a little bit, but it's super slick and easy and then it goes into an appropriate clear bag, and then that all goes into this file system there, and then a customer can come and pick it up. Super slick, super easy, very smooth. This is how we set up the print station, where your, where your booth manager is gonna live and work, <laughs> basically. So be sure to like, subscribe, share. If this content is helpful, you know, give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. I'm so glad you're here. Let's go into the next video.